I am born and raised in Washington DC. I'm 50 years old. I've been playing music for 32 years now, I guess. I, I tend to think of myself, yeah, I'm just a fella, just doing my work. I just do the work that's in front of me. Loved music. I was a Beatles fan, the Rolling Stones, Jimi Hendrix, of course, Janis Joplin, hugely inspirational for me. Um, very interested in early rock and roll, like that hippie era, the youth revolution of the late 60s. I was born in 1962, so I was actually, as a child, privy to it. I saw it happening. I saw the role music was playing in the sort of social revolution, the anti war revolution, the civil rights. The music was very central to all that, and I saw it, I saw I saw the role of it. So I'm interested in kind of stay focused on like what music, the power of music. Because ultimately, music is what brought us here today. This is a song dedicated to everybody who's taking a walk to the Supreme Court. I heavily identify with countercultural thinking. Uh, in the '70s, it was very hard to find it. As a kid, I couldn't find it. I couldn't find because at that point, like the only rebellion that was really uh, being offered was um, really self-destruction, like taking drugs or drinking in high school. That was what, that was sort of was on tap for rebellious people. Um, I tend to think that the fact that in this culture rebellion is almost singularly now like has been winnowed down to self-destruction kind of convenient for the powers, you know, the be. So my thinking was, well, be rebellious, but don't destroy yourself. And um, I felt that made me a freak. You know, and in my high school, I never, I never used drugs, I didn't drink or anything, so I was, it was kind of a, I was a freak. Um, punk rock gave me license, because that's like, I found the counterculture. I found all the weirdos. Not that they weren't, people weren't, drinking and using drugs and being crazy, but at least they acknowledge you're crazy. And that was very interesting, important to me. I think being crazy, and, and the way I'm talking about it, like being, um, to be a thorn in the side of this, like, of the culture is very important. Because this culture, like the culture you and I live in, has really, has given permission for, um, unspeakable horrors and the reason they those things exist the reason that um, there's all these battles about like like health care and all these things is because that is a it's like a large confused and and it's in a way complacent society that just doesn't know what to do about anything and I at least feel like that when you have artists crazy people there they make a little discomfort to make people think I mean I like to think that I am like, you know, I'm an eccentric guy. I've, I understand that. Um, but I like to think that I'm, that my work uh, encourages people to think. Because that's what I do, I just think. And I think that if you, if you, even if one thinks about life, you're already doing so much more than most of, of our culture. <laughs> 